Construction on the building is fairly far along, since the last window is almost finished, so that all that remains is to raise a few roofs and do half of the crenellation. So I would think that with this month, the construction of the facade should be done, which meets with its deserved approval, and you will have the most satisfaction of anyone in the household, because you will see it all at once. And this will have more impact on you than on us who have seen it go up little by little. Palazzo San Sidoni looks out over the Piazza del Campo. Its original core was a 13th century tower that was torn down in 1760. Its current appearance is the result of expansion carried out in the 17th and 18th centuries, during which the façade overlooking the square was built in a style that can be considered neo-Gothic ante literum. A tour of the palace begins on the monumental 18th century staircase, decorated with frescoes and marble sculptures, which leads to the chapel dedicated to Blessed Ambrogio Sansedoni, an important Dominican who lived in the 13th century. This little chapel can be considered one of the most outstanding episodes of the Baroque period in Siena. Besides the altar, framed by lavish marble decorations in accordance with an elegant design suggested by the Opificio delle Pietre Dure in Florence, and frescoes by Anton Domenico Gabbiani, its interior is enriched with bronze reliefs illustrating stories from the life of Ambrogio Sansedoni by Massimiliano Soldani Benzi and Giovanni Battista Foggini and marble sculptures by Giuseppe Mazzuoli, the heir in Siena of the great Roman Baroque tradition of Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The palace interiors are embellished with elaborate painted decorations made in the course of the 18th century by the Pisans Antonio and Francesco Melani and the Florentines Giovanni Battista Ferretti and Pietro Anderlini, who were responsible for allegories and trompe l'oeil pictures distinguishing the most important spaces. The other rooms reflect a neoclassical style with pastel colors and gilt stuccos. The tour continues in the rooms on the Piano Nobile, where the art collection belonging to the Monte dei Paschi di Siena Foundation is displayed following a chronological order that traces the course of painting in Siena from the 14th to the 19th centuries. Among the finest pieces is an altarpiece depicting the Virgin and Child with Saints Bartholomew and Ansanus and a donor, dating to the early decades of the 14th century, and attributed to Senya di Bonaventura, one of the most faithful followers of the great Duccio di Boninsegna. A charming and rare reliquary portable altar was made around 1382 by Francesco di Vannuccio, one of the most interesting masters in Siena in the second half of the 14th century. With the panel painting of a young and attractive Saint Lucy, we are in the next century. It is now attributed to the young Sino di Pietro around 1440. The beautiful Adoration of the Shepherds reflects the Renaissance style. It is by Pietro di Francesco degli Orioli, a master who in the final quarter of the 15th century was also to emerge as the most up-to-date painter in the city, working in the circle of Francesco di Giorgio Martini, with an eye also to the clear, luminous style of Piero della Francesca. As for the 16th century, the collection opens with a rare, eccentric early work by Domenico Beccafumi, a Venus with cupids, datable to the early years of the second decade of the 16th century and originally part of the decoration of a room. The panel is displayed in the room that the San Sidoni family had set up in the 18th century as a gallery to house its collection of paintings and sculptures, and where today, 
paintings by other 16th century Sienese masters are exhibited in a harmonious dialogue. 17th century naturalistic painting is featured in the next room, with works by the Caravaggesque painter Rutilio Manetti, hanging alongside paintings by other masters of his time, Vincenzo Rustici, Ventura Salimbeni, and Astolfo Petrazzi. and significant examples of Baroque taste by the painter Bernardino Mei and the sculptor Giuseppe Mazzuoli, a follower of Bernini, who made the exquisite bronze tondo. Our visit concludes with a look at 19th century art in Siena, well represented by three fine paintings by the purist Luigi Mussini, an academic painter who was a good friend of Jean-Auguste Dominique Ingres, some watercolors in which Alessandro Maffei has meticulously depicted Siena Cathedral. And a pair of marble sculptures by Giovanni Dupre and Tito Sarocchi. Thank you.